again, something I wrote down. So you've been on Pivot for 12, 13 years? I'd say 13 years, I think, yeah. 13? Go 13? Yeah. All right. So 13 years. Uh, how and why? Like, how have you ended up staying there so long? You obviously... The guys, just, yeah, I don't know. The owner, I've got on with him well. I guess just tr- trust maybe or belief in each other, not even trust. Like, they've believed in me. I've believed in them. He's been awesome. I think we were working out the other day when I started there, there was seven employees, I think, and about, I think there's 110, 112 odd now. So I've really grown with the company, I guess. If you do something like that, yeah, they had seven employees, which is crazy to what they are now, and I've been with them the whole time. So I think they've just made amazing bikes. They've really, really helped me. Hopefully, I've do you, helped them. Do you feed think. much back the other way? I'm guessing you've Yeah, loads at the minute. Yeah, we're talking stuff. loads yeah. with the designers and with Dave Weagle, Chris, Bill, like the guy in the engineering shop we'll talk to, and then the designers, Kevin, everyone. Honestly, we talk to them loads, and like I can just call Chris now or text him or whatever or have an argument about a contract. So it's really, really cool like how – how well I get on with them there. So I don't know, it just fits, you know, it just really, really works. Yeah, that's cool. Really cool. Um, and uh, we can talk about whatever, but I'm just curious, is the A1 dream done or? I don't know. Someone, I've had a lot of questions about that lately. It's done for now. I've just signed so a three-year deal with Pivot, so maybe I can risk my life again. Yes. <laughs> Thanks very much for that. So, yeah. right, so that's taking you through to 16 years on Pivot. Yeah, that'd be like at least six. Yeah, I think it was Holy shit. 16 years on pivot. Who else has done that for a bike brand? I don't know. Gravesy was with Yeti a while, but I think I've got to be one of the most long standing riders. I on think a bike so. Brand. Hans Ray. Yeah. Hansy. Oh, Hansy boy. Oh. Hans yeah, he's been on GT for you know? 100 years. I think he will, yeah. It's good that. That's like the uh, golden years of the NBA. Yeah, man. When you you like... know, Reggie didn't move from the paces. Yeah. Reggie, my boy. MJ stuck with the Bulls. Oh, we did a bit in the Wizards, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, hopefully I had a really good contract call the other day with the owner, Chris, and um, we talked about the contract and like passed that as well. Like hopefully it's not just a three year. We both see it going well into the future. So it's really, really cool even like hear that from your main guy, main sponsor. So yeah, sure. it's a really, really cool company. Everyone has that like, family. We talk to them so much. I have a text coming in from them now while we've been on the phone and trying to sort all the other riders' contracts out and other things going forward. So, And they appreciate us. They've invited us to the Christmas party this year. So oh, kind of cool. You don't really have that as a rider, you know, like a Christmas corporate party and you see it in movies, TV shows. So it's pretty True. cool that they like, yeah, show us some love and get us all out there for that. Do you know what? It, sound, it sounds lame and it's putting you on the spot a bit, but like there's got to be a list of people that you don't get an opportunity to say thank you to. And it's been a big year. And obviously, you've got people, cl- you know, like I see some, Barney, for instance. Barney's there every race. He's obviously mega valuable to you and everything. Are there more that you'd, you'd want to? This is really unfair. Put There's you on the so spot. many. Yeah, unfair, it's obviously but... a team. Barney, Boris, Joel, Kurt, like all the riders on the team. But I think yeah. they always do get shout outs. People see them and yeah. at races and stuff. And I always give Chris a shout out, Rachel from Pivot, everyone like that. I think... At all of our sponsors, there's so many people that do stuff. Like when you actually work it out, I went to Saddleback the other day in the UK that have taken over the pivot distribution here, which mm. is awesome. So I think they're going to do a real good job of that. But then when you see, there'll be like three guys there that might send me bolts next year. And then you've got the guys in Germany from pivot that sent the bolts to there. And you've got the guys in America that designed them. Like, I think our biggest thanks is to like all the, not just warehouse staff, but behind the scenes staff at these companies, or yeah, a lot of warehouse staff like, I get to talk to Jeff, the new designer of the Pivot Casual, and he's helped us do the bus design. I, I get to talk to him, and I send him emails saying thanks all the time. The marketing mm. department at each company, they normally probably get a thanks email from me after every race or whatever it is, but I think the biggest one might be the warehouse staff at every one of our sponsors because without them, like, yeah, the marketing guys organize, accounting pay us, so thanks to those guys, but we say thanks to them paying us. I think, honestly, it's that the warehouse staff at each sponsor because... There we go. Through the year, they spend hours, man. They pack boxes. They ship stuff. They get it out the door. And it's not a small amount of shipments through a year for a team to run. That's right. Shout out, round of applause to those who make it happen. Warehouse staff. Thanks so much. There we go. Shout out, warehouse staff. There's a really good, I don't know if a YouTube video. Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now. Or type the Ride Companion into your favorite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers.